take and I am UP 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 early getting some editing done um, I still have some projects that I started back in New York that I gotta finish up so that's what I'm working on right now and then we're gonna get back to filming today you know we still got some more stuff to shoot so that's the game plan that's the agenda we're gonna get that done and get that video out to you guys as soon as possible and then the next thing we're gonna start getting some music done Gotta get some recording done. I brought my recording equipment with me, my Pro Tools, all of that good shit. So it's just a creative movement when I'm down here. You feel me? We just come, we just work, 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 and create dope content for you guys. Still a shoot, or me have a memory card? Don't know. So everybody have like a me alone now vlog. Oh, poor thing. Me alone from memory card. So they are shoot a scene right there, so. Trust me, it's a short film of fun with people. This we are, we are trying to do it with a different approach and the equipment and we have and things. So thanks for giving us, thanks for giving us for the time in waiting for this project. And I hope you all like it when it drops. By the time you watch this right now, my be drop already. <laughs> ah! My thing. <laughs> so today we are here shooting on the Sony A7S. My two Mash it up. My tool of the trade. And I'm rocking a Rode video mic Rode video for audio. Mic. All right. And I have a 18 to 200 Sony lens doing it with autofocus. Even though more time I use manual focus so that, you know, the focus isn't jumping around. I use manual focus on this, right? Autofocus is good if I'm doing events or anything like that because then, you know, you're moving the camera around and you're making sure that you're getting a clear shot. But since we're doing a short film, manual focus is the way to go. We're about to have some fun, right? We're about to get this shoot done and like I said, this is going to be dropping very, very, very soon. Keep it locked. This is Dante. Hey, you fuck are you? <laughs> Should I talk? <laughs> that also can't be so guys. Like Ali Baba, come out there. I shouldn't dash it upon him. Okay. Oh so we're God. on our way to the next location. Oh my God. We got Mr. So sick in the back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We got Mr. Beagle tattooed on the And we have Shark Boss. Yeah! 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 <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> And we have purple Kush candy right there. Oh, that's a nice name. Oh, that's a little quiet, dude. <laughs> and oh, as you can see, my cup ash. is very blue. Don't ask me what's in there, you know, for no. All right. Dante, I drink lean, you know? Lean? Mm -hmm. What well, fuck, blue? We don't buy no blue drink, so that's the third blue. Because. I work blue, magic, nigga. Say blue cars. <laughs> anyway. Yo, why you sound like when you jump car in the dark? Did just say blue cars? Anyway. Why you sound like when you jump car I'll catch you guys at the next location. Because this guy over here get interrogating big money. <laughs> so the time has finally come. My days with this bullshit iPhone is finally over. Watch as we unbox the best phone in this generation, in this year. In this month, on this day, the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. Watch. Moment of truth. The moment of truth. Dun, dun, dun. Say bye bye to this piece of shit, people. This shit will be completely, completely sent back to T-Mobile because we don't deal with garbage here no more. I don't know who lied and said that iPhone was great. It's been a miserable time. I've had it since Valentine's Day and it is extremely, extremely a painful experience to use. All right? Right now, I'm retrieving information 
messages all out from my iPhone, sending it to my Galaxy. As you can see Galaxy includes, or Samsung includes a adapter that you can connect to your previous phone to transfer over your information to your new phone, which is extra convenient. It has two front facing cameras, three cameras on the back, along with an ultrasonic fingerprint reader, which is built into the display. So you just sound to actually read your fingerprint. Pretty cool shit. Oh, don't you ever get this crap right here called an iPhone. This shit will waste your life, all right? <laughs> this shit right here is a waste of time. Nothing but pent up frustration. Just beer fuck. Whereas the amazing, awesome, spectacular Galaxy S10 Plus is here to save the day. My yo, tapping now is over here. Some more Galaxy comes here, dear. He's lying, people. That's why your phone lock off on you right now. Phone's so tapping too. See, that's why we don't fuck with rotten fruit. Bro, you don't like an iPhone. Bro. We don't fuck with rotten fruit, okay? You sell out that quick. Get that rotten apple out of here. You sell out that quick. You sell out shitty. You had one. Yeah, for a very brief time, I was forced to hold Why it. Why be brief? <laughs> the sexiness of this Galaxy S10 Plus. Oh man, like you can change the background of your the background effect of your portrait mode pictures after you take them. Look at that. That's regular. That's like a spin effect. I hope the camera can see it good. It's a zoom effect. And that's color effect where you're in color and everything else is in black and white. And again, you can change the amount of blur that's in the background. It's up to you. Just another part of the cool features with this phone. It's good, Joe. So, Dante here. And, uh, I'm chilling. Here, editing. I figured why not just talk to y'all because I haven't shared anything about me. I don't think I've shared any personal information about me. So, you know, this is all about building a relationship and getting you guys to know a little bit more about me. For those who don't know me, my name is Dante. I'm an actor, videographer, and I used to rap. I still make music, but mainly for myself. So. I'll be bumping to my own shit. And that's the reason why I make it. I do music as a hobby. I'm a technician. Used to be a high school teacher. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And I've always done video work on the side, like from the get-go. So I decided to, uh, you know, take the next step and make that my full-time thing. Last year, I quit my job as a teacher to actually be my own boss. Um, it's not like I didn't like the job, like I love my students, my students were great. It's just, uh, I'm not a fan of the paperwork and all the extra things around that. It's rewarding, like teaching your students and seeing them evolve and grow, but all the paperwork and everything else was just annoying. So yeah, I decided to give being an entrepreneur a shot and I actually opened up my own photo studio slash podcast studio in Yonkers so right now that is in the process of becoming something bigger I hope I'm getting that together and things have been you know picking up slowly I mean I think anybody who's been through the phase of owning a business is going to tell you the first year is usually your worst year um, think about it there's a lot of expenses and expenses that you never thought about too like permits um signs marketing permits for the signs it, it's a lot but i'm thankful that i've been able to make it this far right um all my bills are paid and i'm able to continue doing what i love without you know feeling like i'm starving so i'm grateful for that <laughs>